an update on little Sabi. I'm thinking we can be be more firm on giving them a name together because I think both are going to do well. So Wabi, obviously the first one born over there, but this is Sabi, the second one. So you're seeing my calloused feet. Come here, darling. Um, so Sabi has been pooping well. There's a big mess in there, but you can see poops in the middle of it. Poops everywhere. A poopy bum, which I've had to clean. But not. I'm not cleaning it thoroughly because... Um, okay, so the reason you'll clean the bum is because they get something called pasty vent, where they poop and the poop can cover the vent and stop them. They poop from being able to come out. And then they can die from that. that that's, you know, it's dangerous. You don't want to leave it. But also had the... Um, big belly button that stuck out and if you accidentally clean off that scab and leave it open that's also a very high fatality risk sort of thing so I just used a q-tip that I wet down and cleaned the um he loves the freckle on my hand cleaned the poop off the vent just moving it a little to the side I didn't try and get it off he's got little dingleberries hanging all over his little bottom but it's not covering his vent and so then he is not of a risk of being plugged up and not being out of poop. And at the same time, that little belly button that's healing is safe. Hey, little precious. You've got a dirty bottom. You've got a dirty bottom. It's hidden under the poof. There's a dirty bottom. <laughs> but this is little Sabi. So when I... When he was born, I thought I honestly thought he wouldn't make it. He looked so weak. His feet were all crooked. <laughs> um. <laughs> yep. Come on. Come on. Here's me, baby. Here's me. So his feet were all crooked, and they've straightened out. One of the toes is a little funny looking, but only tiny. Everything else is straightened out. So the one that I thought would be least likely to survive is now no look no longer looking special needs at all. Um, it probably would just be able to join the others and have absolutely no problems. Um, so little Sabi's doing well. Obviously attached to humans more than its own kind because um, I've not been able to raise with the others. It's a bit of a mess, so I'm putting them on towels at the moment, and so each day I take the towel out, and I've got to do a load of washing, and that's just trying to keep it clean on top, spot cleaning. I really, I should get a bin. I'm, I'm a messy person. But um, they managed to make a lot of mess. They love jumping in and out of their food and just spilling it everywhere and jumping in and out of their water. So it's a, you're a challenge, my little precious. But so curious. They can fly, so I need to put a lid on. I just use wire because I don't want the heat lamp to burn it. It's so hard getting something that can hold a heat lamp up that's high enough. In the end, I just clamped on the desk, attached it with rope, and zip tied the cable so even if the it falls out of its holder, it can't come down and burn anything. It either stays plugged in and stays up there, or it unplugs itself and falls down. And even then, if it unplugs itself, it won't be able to touch the fabric. So this is the rough setup I have for these two little guys, and they'll be hanging out together soon. I'm just waiting for your little scab to come off your belly button and for it to look all healed, which is probably four or five days away, I'm estimating. And in four or five days, these guys will be living together in a bigger cage, probably in the living room by that point because I will have moved the pea chicks that are eight weeks old out into the aviary with the adult peacock. And then I'll move the ducks into that larger brooder. And then these guys get the smaller duck brooder, which is like five times the size of these guys. So we'll just play musical chairs. This is little Savvy, loves pecking. Actually, one of the ways I got them to start eating was I'd put their food on the edges of the inside of the container and they would peck at it. Um, they, they love pecking at things. So, um, yeah, often I'd have to get my food, the food and wet it and dangle my finger above their head like, oh, look at that. And they would they'd peck at it. Um, even just to get them to drink, I'd have to drop water onto their heads to get them to, 
<laughs> a lot more um, independent early on than you would have a chick or a duckling. They um, can run a lot faster. They can fly pretty well within three days. Like not, I'm not saying fly across the house, but they can jump up and flutter. Easily come out of this cage, this tub. Um, he can probably get from the ground onto the edge of this tub if he really felt like going for it. Because he can definitely jump from inside the tub out and then into the other one. So I found them, um, I've come in sometimes when they weren't lids and they were young and found them in the same cage. But I don't want to risk that yet. <laughs> I can't keep track of you. You're too fast. Wasabi? <laughs> and so this is um when did you hatch you're exactly seven days old one week old this is a one week old pea chick i haven't really worked out how to tell the gender and probably just because i don't care um because if even if they're boys i wouldn't wouldn't um offload the extra boys and sell them off until i was sure what they kind of look like so i'm happy to wait a year or two um, and then see what they are and what they're going to be. Because you can't have an uh, even gender ratio of males and females. You do have to have like one male to every three or four females. It does mean that there's a lot of unwanted males floating around. But um, that's okay. I can be patient. I wait till the right home turns up. Not a dinner plate. There we go. Thank you, Dawn, on the highway. Maybe I just make a little bachelor run for you guys. There's too many boys. Little bachelor run, bachelor run. Tucker's out pretty fast still. Does its runs and then gets sleepy. I'm glad you're feeling better, Sabi. Your legs are looking great. Very healthy, nasty smelling poops. Which is a good sign if they've got a little umbilical bulge. You're kind of worried, did their bowels get caught? Did their stomach get damaged? That can happen. But nope, eating and shitting well. A lot of times you're really happy to see lots of poop. No, I'm trying to settle into it. There we go. Lift that up a bit. There we go. Mm, he'll probably just want to fall asleep here. Nope. Prove me wrong. There we go. He'll wind down eventually. to get this time in. Have a nice little team, Peachick. Also, if anything does go wrong, I want a Peachick who sees my hand not as something scary, so I can give it medication, I can um, put a prosthetic on, do whatever I need, which is why the next one I'll be holding will be Wabi, because you will have to wear some prosthetics in the future. Okay, say bye. Can you say bye? Okay, we're gonna end this somehow. <laughs> with disinterest. Okay. <laughs> we'll end it with disinterest. <laughs>